guys, I'm Ray. And I'm Dad. And so today we are at Old Town Spring. And so we are gonna be heading to a couple of our favorite shops and the Spring Museum, which actually the sign is right behind us. And so, are you ready? Make, Make sure, sure to enjoy. enjoy. Okay guys, unfortunately the Old Town Spring Museum is closed um, due to COVID-19. So instead of going in there, we will be going to some of the other shops. So there's also a placard here about Old Town Spring. So let's go take a quick look at this and learn a little bit about Old Town Spring. So one of the things I did read before is that Old Town Spring is consistently voted as one of the top attractions in the area to come visit because of all the boutique shops. They have a whole series of concerts and festivals. Our famous one is the Crawfish Festival. That's every April or May. You have to look online. Uh, so this says that Old Town Spring here, Spring was founded in 1873 as part of the, the railroad that was coming through here. And so that's kind of neat. So anyways, so let's go ahead and go take a look at and walk around Old Town Spring. Okay, so let's head on. Okay guys, so we are gonna go see if the toy store is open. If it is, we're gonna see if we can film inside of it. If not, we'll tell you about it. But we're heading over there right now. It's, we always stop um, by here. It's such a cute little store. Um, so if you have like little kids, um, you definitely want to stop by here. And it's just a fun, cute little place to walk around and see um, some stuff, yeah. So what are your favorite shops here, Ray? So this toy store, and then there's another antique store called Sad's that we always go into. And it's a really cool uh, store. So yeah, and we'll stop by there later. And then we'll see if we can go and film inside there. But let's see if, um, It's called Why Not Toys. And they have really cute window displays with toys in them. And it says they are open. So we're gonna go find out if we can record in there or not. Oh, I love their window displays, Ray. They're so cute. Excellent, okay. So we're gonna go find out. Okay guys, so we are at the toy store. They let us film in here, which is great. And so let's walk around and see what they have in store. <laughs> Favorite section of this place, Ray? And what do you like so much about um, it? Um, I don't know. Let's walk around and see. They change it from time to time because there's a bunch of really cool stuff. Right today? We're doing good. Thank you very much. <laughs> you are okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, all the people that work here are really nice. And it's just a great little shop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go swing this way and we'll go through over on this other side. We love this shop. There's a whole book section yeah. and there's a young kids section over on the other side and they have a lot of really unique toys and gifts here and so like I said, we've been coming here since Ray was probably one years old and coming and doing Christmas shopping and birthday shopping for folks. We love supporting this store. Yeah, it's one of our favorites. Okay guys, so we just got out of the toy store and we are going to be going to Sad's next, which is a cute little antique store. It's one of our favorites. We go in there every time we go to Old Town Spring. And so we're heading there next. Okay guys, so we are in Sad, one of our favorite stores to come and shop at in Old Town Spring. And so let's walk around. I like they got Halloween stuff out, I'm so excited. <laughs> they have the best Halloween and the best Christmas gifts, especially unique ones. So I, I love this store. So we regularly shop here for the holidays. We shop here for people's birthdays. Some Halloween decorations. Oh, I love the witch. We 
walk through. We can see the, the schoolhouse on the other side. So we've jumped down streets again. So I think, how many total blocks do you think there are here, Ray? About eight? Maybe eight blocks of shops and restaurants. And then they'll close a lot of these streets off for the Old Town Spring Festivals, things like the Crawfish Festival. We did learn from the owner of Thad's that they are gonna be doing their Christmas square stuff. So they'll decorate this all for Christmas and it's really beautiful in the evenings with all the lights. And they're gonna decorate for Halloween as well, I think, and they do like a trunk or treat or some kind of trick or treat thing down here as part of that. And I'm not sure how that's gonna work this year, but they'll have that going on as well. So up here on the right, I was kind of swing right. There's a little place that does usually sells kettle corn that will come and grab kettle corn out of. But what's also here is this old house. Um, and it's old where it says Hudson's White Hall down there. There's a really old house. And they actually do a series of ghost tours down here. And from what I've read is that these are some of the most haunted areas down here. So sometime Ray and I are going to have to check out the ghost tour. So they have a family friendly ghost tour. And then they have a scarier, more gory version of the ghost tour. Would you like to try to do that sometime, Ray? Maybe, yeah. So the ghost tour, the family feeling ghost tours, I think are at eight o'clock I saw. So I think that'd be kind of cool to check out sometime. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna keep the video on Ray. There's actually a little area tucked back here that's a little hidden gym uh, that's on the other side of the schoolhouse. So let me go show that as we walk through here. And there's a bunch of shops back here. And this is also the way to where they do a bunch of the festivals, like the Crawfish Festival. You'll see this area called Preservation Park. This is where they do uh, the Crawfish Festival. They'll do a wine and arts festival back there. They'll do like a pet day. They actually have a big car festival here in September called, I think it's the Lone Star Run, if I remember right. We'll have to look at the website. Um, but there's a bunch of different um, places back here as well. There's a baseball and sports memorabilia place called The Dugout. It's been here forever. It's really good. They've got a lot of neat items in there. Uh, if we take a look around, there's a bunch of other shops. And if we go on the other side, we can see the German gift house and the little Dutch girl gift house as well. Uh, you can see a uh, caboose over there. And at the caboose, you can get things like fried Oreos, funnel cakes, so lots of a fun fair type foods that they sell here actually in a series of a couple different stores and restaurants. We go down this way and we'll see all kinds of interesting things as we go down here. So we're crossing over. You can see there's, oh, there's the train coming. Let's see if we can get and a I view. I think there's actually one right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if we can get a view of this train if we can get through this area. You'll see there's all kinds of shops in here. Oh, there's kitty cats. Look at the cute kitty cats. We'll come back to the trains. Oh, here comes the train. Let's see if we can see that train up here. You guys see the train through there? Let's see if I can walk out and get a better view of this train. No cars coming. You see the train runs right on the edge of town. As we said at the sign that this, out, this area was set up as a train depot. That's why the town is actually here. Pretty cool. Okay, not sure what this is, but it's pretty unique. A Darth Vader head on, I think, a, a Forbidden City soldier. One of the, one of the uh, clay soldiers, the terracotta soldiers. That's what I was looking for the Darth Vader head. Very unusual things here in Old Town Spring. So continuing on, we're actually walking towards where the train's at and you'll see the train in the background. Once again, this is an old train depot town. There's the old bank, the old walls here, and you'll see a bunch of the old architecture, which is pretty cool. The historic coast. We're going to go see the historic spring bank vault. Okay guys, so we're in this little rock shop and there's actually, this was the old bank and so there is a bank vault right here. And you can just look inside. The vault opened 1917, Spring State Bank. This is really cool. Oh look at the old memorabilia stuff. How cool is that? The old money. It's really cool. So the old vault.
This is Puffa Billy's. It's the old train depot. And you can see how it's long and, and the train tracks are just on the other side. In fact, you can see the, the train crossing tracks right there. So it's a great place to hang out and to uh, really enjoy. Hello. Okay, guys. So we are in front of Ellen's. Ellen's is one of our favorite shops to come to. It's another place we've been coming to for years to eat at. I love their quiche. I love their tuna melt sandwiches. I love their ice cream bar. They can make a lot of different things. Uh, we really like this place and I'll happily plug it because we've been coming here for years and the owners are fantastic. So this is Ellen's. Yep. So we have finished up walking around Old Town Spring and we are now going to rate our experience here. I would give it a 5 out of 5 because it's a really fun place to walk around. The toy store is a lot of fun for little kids and the antique store is a lot of fun for older kids. And it's nice to just walk around too. Yeah, and I would give it a 4 out of 5. Um, normally I do a 5 out of 5, but I'm going to do a 4 out of 5 because there's a lot of businesses shut right now um, and it is not as simple to get into a bunch of places, but on a normal, uh, as things are when they're normal, I think this place is a real easy 5 out of 5, which would give us a total score of 9 out of 10. Um, and guys, I'm Ray. And I'm Dad. And today we were at Old Town Spring. And so make sure to subscribe to our channel. And once you subscribe, press the bell for notifications when we upload a new video and make sure to like this video and most of all enjoy